so I know that I technically reviewed the Lemon Drop EOS back, like, last year, I think, either last year or the year before, but I wasn't sure if that had been a legit one or if I had gotten a counterfeit, even though I bought it at Walmart and it should have been legit, but I was unsure because it smelled very odd and it gave me a weird reaction and I wasn't sure if maybe it was one of the reactions like everybody wrote about in the news happening or what, because it was the only one I've ever had that happen with out of any EOS ever. And I wasn't sure I wanted to buy another one to test it out in case it was the same deal, but... As it turns out, that one very much was a counterfeit, and I have a real one now, and having a real one now, I would like to re-review this now that it's actually legit. So first off, I'm not sure if this is a completely new thing or not, but I did notice along the bottom edge. Oh, where did it go? I just saw it. Right there. Okay, you probably won't even be able to see it, but I'm gonna try anyway to get it to focus. Yeah, it's not showing up. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. You can kind of see a little bit of the indents of letters right there. But basically, along the bottom edge of EOS's now, that, that sounds weird wording about it, EOS's, um, they actually have the expiration date printed on them. You have to look really close to see it at all, which I mean, I understand why they did that because they don't want to detract away from the design, but at the same time, so many people really wanted to have the expiration date printed on them that they finally did it, for which I commend them. So, I think it goes this way. Yeah, it goes up and down ways. If you hold it up to the light so the light catches on the indents, you can see it. So this one expires in July of 2017. So, okay, I got a year to use this sucker up. But yeah, so I'm gonna do a comparison between this and the counterfeit later, but I feel like it might even be a different shade of yellow than the other one was. I don't remember it being quite so vibrant, but then again, given I felt that one was a counterfeit right off the bat, I kind of chucked it in a box and never looked at it again. But anywho, let's open her up. Yeah, right off the bat, it smells extremely different from that other one. That other one smelled like it had black pepper in it, like it was citrus with black pepper. That struck me as not right. And everyone that I let smell, see, do you smell like black pepper in this? And everybody's looking at me like, you lost your fucking mind? And I was like, no, really, just smell it. And they did, and they're like, I don't know about black pepper, but I smell da da da, and everybody smelled something different, but every single thing people picked up on, not one of them should have been in this. So, that was a pretty big tip off right there that it probably was not legit. But yeah, so format wise, just the smooth, smooth sphere design in the typical EOS egg packaging. So, um, it is natural and organic. I'm re-going over this, so in case I choose to take down the counterfeit one later, I may just leave it up, but just, yeah, I'll re-go over things. It's not limited edition or anything. It is part of their permanent line. I think it's one of their oldest ones. It's just funny to me that because of what an experience I had with the counterfeit, I couldn't understand why you guys like this one so much, and now I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty lovely now that I have a real one, so... It makes a difference, you just gotta be cautious. I suppose if you have that big of an aversion to one, maybe try buying a second one from somewhere else and see if you have a better experience with it. Worst case scenario, you're out, what, $6 for buying it twice? So, that's just my two cents. Um, the amount of product you get is a quarter of an ounce. I already told you a shelf life on this. Uh, price point on this one, I believe was... Oh gosh, what was it? I bought this one from Walgreens when I got my Nutty Pot. Um, I think it was a little bit under $4. Um, and the sturdiness is just like any EOS. It's that slightly rubberized plastic that's prone to scratches, but is what it is. That's part of the joy of EOS for you. So um, This does have a special feature. The uh, Lemon Drop EOS is the only one that has SPF in it. I think it's SPF 15... Yep, SPF 
Yeah, 15. With active ingredients. I'm trying to read. It's really, really tiny, guys. And I'm near say, which I can usually see things close up, but this is really small to where I'm like, dang, that's really hard to read. So, okay, yes. SPF 15 lip balm, lemon drop active ingredients. Wow, that's small. Oh, homo salate, 8%. Avo benzone, 3%. Octosilene, 2.75%. And that's it. The rest of it's just the info on the address of where it's made. Sorry, it's really, really tiny. And trying to read those complicated words on that teeny tiny print. Come on, you know you want to focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. You know you want to. I'm trying to make it do it so in case I butchered the words, you can still read it. Oh, come on. It doesn't like me today, guys. What if I go like that? And then go like this. Will it do it? Maybe. Maybe. No, it's not gonna do it. It does not like me. It does not like me. Nope. One last try. Nope. Alright. I give up. So, this review is just a bit of a clusterfuck. I apologize. It's also first thing in the morning. I'm still in yesterday's uh, clothes because I fell asleep in them. Um, anyway. It's just clear. I do notice that even the wax seems to be a different color than the other one. This one seems slightly more yellowy than the other, which, uh, as especially with the citrus EOS products, they do use a concentrate of the fruit involved, so it would make sense that this one's sort of yellowy, just like the orange blossom one is orangey, which I remember writing to them after I got it because I was so concerned about that color, because <laughs> so I was like, is it supposed to be that color? Is this what it looks like when they go bad? No, it's fine. So anyway, yeah, um, scent wise, yes, yeah, actually just a very subtle lemony scent, um, almost with like, It's weird to throw this in there, but almost as if there's like the tiniest, tiniest hint of like baby powder scent in there to like soften the scent. I don't know. I could be entirely wrong. Maybe it's just the SPF I'm picking up on. But either way, it's still a million times nicer than that other one was. So, uh, consistency wise, let me dry my lips because they're a little bit damp. I don't want a moldy eels. Okay, so the consistency on this one, I'm not sure if it's because of the SPF in it or the citric acid or what exactly, but the texture of the Smooth Sphere itself is slightly rougher than that of most other EOS products. I don't know if I got something on it or if it's just like that, but it does almost feel like there's a teeny little bit of grittiness to it. It's also possible I just got something on it. So, um, but the actual lip balm itself, it, it's pretty thin, but it's really smooth though, and it's much more in tune with what an EOS product is supposed to feel like. So, I was able to tell just from right there when I first used it, because I was so leery of this was this gonna be another fake or not. So I was like, oh wait, no, this one's definitely the legit, I can tell the difference just in how it feels. So, because the other one, it like, would catch on my lips and felt like it was having to tug against it and you had to fight it to even make it work. And just, it was so bad on every possible level. And this one is just really nice. So, um, but yeah, so moisturization wise, it, um, I don't know if this is because of the citric acid or because of the SPF, but it kind of seems like it doesn't do quite as great a job as other EOS products of moisturizing. But I have noticed sort of a spectrum of how well the different EOS products moisturize. Some of them are kind of just nice to put on and feel good in the moment, but ultimately for long-lasting moisturization, they don't do that much. Um, this is kind of on that end of things, but not like terribly so, and definitely not like the fake one that actively gave me blisters on my lips after using it and that was just horrible and since I had licked it to get the taste for you guys which 
on this one, it actually does taste like lemon. The other one did not. It tasted really bad. Um, but this one's just nice. That one, when I licked my lips, exactly the part of my tongue where I licked it also got a blister afterwards. So that was a pretty big indicator that something was definitely wrong with that one. And I was like, God, have I developed yet another allergy? Am I allergic to lemons now? But I drink lemonade all the time and have no problem, so guess it's not that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it was just like, there's something just wrong with that thing. So never touched it again. It sat in my crate where I keep my round lip balms. <clears throat> Excuse me ever since. So, yeah, I'm very glad that I finally got around to remembering to throw one of these into an order somewhere else I could buy it, because I was not going to get it from Walmart again. Because after having one bad experience there, I figured chances are the same damn thing could happen, and I was like, no, I'm going to get it from a different retailer altogether. Just my problem was that I never remembered to put one in the cart until the second I hit complete order, and then when you remember, oh shit, I was gonna order one of those, and then didn't, maybe next time, and then next time would roll around, and the same thing would happen, so finally a year later, I finally got around to replacing it. <laughs> it's been a long, weird trip to get this, but I'm glad that I did, because it's actually very nice, and I like this one a lot, so, yeah. Um, in terms of shine factor, um... It has a little bit, but not a lot. Um, it's almost like a semi-matte, in my opinion. It's really not a shiny thing, but that's okay. Gosh, I messed up the lighting on this from trying to make it focus. I'm sorry, and I'm very distracted by the little square on my screen. Um, but anyway, longevity-wise, it's... Mm, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's not the longest-lasting EOS by any means, and it doesn't really hold up to the drink test, because I tried it with coffee, I tried it with soda, I tried it with a wine cooler, and the same thing happens with all of them. Uh, it's just gone afterwards, so th there is that one downside to it. But otherwise, just in terms of using it, if you don't mind reapplying it a lot, it's actually a very nice product. So I think I would rate this one... Hmm. Well, lemon is not my favorite flavor in the world. It's not terrible. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it, but it's just not my favorite. So, I mean, I'm not going to give it the highest rating possible since this is just my opinions on them. But I would probably give it uh, probably a 7. If it lasted longer, I would maybe give it an 8 at best. But, yeah, it's, it's okay. But, like I said, it's not my favorite in the world, but it's definitely... Not my least favorite, which is a huge step up from what I thought before, because I thought it was my least favorite, and I was wrong. I actually do like this one now that I have a real one. So anyway, that's all I have to say on this one. I'll be back later with a comparison with the fake one. I should probably put a dot on the fake one so I do not mix them up, because I do not want to ever accidentally use that other one again. But yeah, anyway, so as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click the subscribe button. Leave comments down below. Do you have this one? What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you ever have a weird reaction to it? Um, like I said, this is the real one, so I did not have a reaction to this, but not the fake one, though. I'm like, am I the only one that got a fake one of that? But, um, or anything else you'd like to leave me in the comments, as well as what you'd like to see me review most next, and until next time.